phones, scan the QR code, enter your names, and let me know when you're ready. Yeah, just see if anybody is not able to scan it, just let me know. Everyone come forward. We can help you with the scanning if you are not able to scan. Somebody at the back, please come forward. Plenty of prizes for you, all cash prizes sponsored by KSOS. Come forward, come. At least your registration fee you'll get reimbursed. Yes, big money, big money. Yes, latecomers, please come forward. You can join in. You can just scan this QR code. Open, yes, and enter your name. Kitty or Larkum? Can someone help uh, them, please? Volunteer, please help them. Turn it, Kitty. Ah, no, 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 that I. Please come, please come. We are just starting. No issues at all. Ma'am at the back, please come. Okay, next time onwards, we won't have this much time for you to scan, so do it quickly, okay? Help your neighbors and do it quickly. They can use the, just they use the camera, no, and then open the network. You can just open your camera. All done? Open your camera. It says open link. Click that. It will go to the Google form. Shall we go ahead with the questions? All any late comers in the next time, next round. All done? See me ready. Okay. Okay, we'll go to the first question. The spherical equivalent of a 0.5 diopter cross cylinder is 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1 diopter. Timer, please. 10 seconds will do. Okay, 20 hours. 20 seconds will do. Next question. Histopathologically, the uveitis seen in VKH syndrome most closely resembles the uveitis seen in which of the following diseases? JIA, intraocular lymphoma, pars planitis, sympathetic ophthalmia. Timer, please. I can't hear the timer. Mm. 
Following a stroke, a patient can see moving objects in his blind hemifield, but cannot see static objects. What is the name of this disorder? Anton syndrome, palinopsia, redox phenomenon, visual agnosia. The white dot lesions of which disease are least apparent on fluorescent angiography? Serpiginous choroiditis, punctate inner choroidopathy, APMPPE or birdshot retinochoroidopathy. Least apparent on fluorescent angiography. Those who have come in late, please have a seat. You will get a chance in the next round. We will tell you what to do. And the last question of the set, remember, next is the last question, remember as soon. Yeah, fifth question. It's coming submission, you've cooked only four options. Check the form. All right, that's fine, that's fine. We'll skip the fifth question. You can submit. Submit now. Can you check all the forms, Arpit? All the forms have only four, five. Oh, I forgot to tell you an important rule. As in all quizzes, the quiz master's decision is final. But this is Game of Thrones, so anybody who asks the question is beheaded. Apparently, KSOS can afford only this throne. Yeah, everyone ready? We've got the two winners. Arpit. No, no, I don't need the names now, but are you ready with the two winners? Yes, okay. So now, uh, some latecomers are here, so let me tell you the instructions once more. Everyone at the back as well, we will be displaying a QR code now. Lift up your phones, open up your camera, and scan the QR code. It will take you to a Google form. And you just have to write your name, and then give the options, and then click the button Submit. Once I finish the... Five questions are put this time? Hopefully five questions. Yes, it's a new QR code. Yes, second QR code. Here you go, scan the QR code please. Yes, Shweta, take a seat, take your camera, scan the QR code. Yeah, now you are, we are going to select another two people. Uh, team, please remember, if they are already selected in the first round, do not do that, take them. Go to the next uh, accurate person, okay? Ready? Yes, please. Yes, please. That is kept like that so that people who come in late can join in. Because again, I have been given a slot at 8 and I know people will come only in at 9. All done? Ready? One, just, yeah, one second. One person is still doing. I, I'll, um, Afrin, are you doing for one person? Yes, uh, Brinda, Rizana, pick up your uh, 
phones and scan the QR code quickly. We can't wait for you. All done? Okay, I'm going to start the first question. Set two. To minimize image displacement in a hyperope, the best type of bifocal segment style is flat top or just progressives, round top or an executive bifocal. To minimize image displacement in a hyperope, which of these segments is best suited for this particular quality, image displacement? Everyone who hasn't scanned the QR code can do it now. You still have time till this question finishes. <laughs> Next question, the maxillary division of the trigeminal nerve V2 enters the skull base through which foramen? Ovale, lacerum, spinosum or rotundum? Oval, lacerum, spinosum, or rotundum. Karake kutam. No negative marking. Chumma kutta. Sare tri maari irikinna irikinna allu. Ella ane sare ne chortan sramikyo an. Ah, poti vachya, poti vachya. Next question, what eye motility abnormality is commonly associated with infantile esotropia? Manifest vertical nystagmus, dissociated vertical deviation, symmetric smooth pursuit in horizontal gaze, or ocular flutter? Which eye motility disorder is commonly associated with infantile esotropia? Quiet, quiet, no buzzing. To each his own. Remember, you have prize money here. Next question. Which of the following corneal stromal dystrophies is characterized by both hyaline and amyloid dystrophy deposits? Granular, lattice, avellino, or macula? Those who come in late can still join in. Please come in. Please come in. If you want, no, now it's too late. No questions are. You can join in in the next round and there is audience question coming up as well. Come in, come in, please. Next question. <coughs> Hopefully you still have five options here in the... Yes. Next question. Which of the following tests most often yields a normal result in best disease? OCT, ERG, fluorescent angiography, EOG. Uh oh. Everyone else has five. No options, Allah. Questions. Can you just bring your phone here, ma'am? Uh, uh, Sahili, can you bring the phone? No, show Arpit, <coughs> not me. Yes, submit. Remember, at the last question, you submit as soon as you know the answer. Don't wait for me to say submit. Okay? Because I will say submit only after the timer is gone. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah, all this will happen, unfortunately, but bear with me. Yes, so we are done with that. Audience question is in this list. Arpit? Okay. So now you can relax. No more scanning for now. Now you can enjoy as somebody comes on the hot seat and gets roasted. Okay? Yeah. One audience question coming up. Oh, sorry. Answers are coming up now. To minimize image displacement, though everyone thinks it is uh, executive, it is round top. Maxillary division enters through rotundum. Eye motility abnormality, I'm sure everybody got. It is DVD. And corneal stromal dystrophy that has both is Avellino. And ERG gives normal result. EOG is abnormal in best disease. Audience question ready? So uh, no shouting out the answer. Lift up your hand. Volunteers will come to you with the mics. Volunteers ready with mic, please. And then we'll have the answer from you. It's a simple question. 
Mrs. Margaret Thatcher was operated for an eye condition during her term as Prime Minister. What was that eye condition? Yes, there, red salvar. No, no, it's not Simi, not Simi, the one at the back. Retinal detachment. Excellent. Retinal detachment is the right answer. Can we have her chocolates, please? All those who are late can come in. We still have rounds going on. Come in, please. Come forward. You won't be able to scan from there. Everybody at the back, please come forward. Okay. Plenty of seats here. You can use the sofas as well. So that was the audience question. I need to go to set one's answers. I need to give them the answers. One more? Yeah, and the answers. Yeah. So we will just quickly go through the set one answers as well. I'm sure you want to know. <coughs> so that everyone knows the spherical, what Remya? Spherical equivalent of a cross cylinder is zero. It does not have any spherical power. It will not add spherical power to your refraction. Histopathologically, VKH resembles sympathetic ophthalmia. Following a stroke, moving objects is redox phenomenon. And white dot lesions, least apparent is birdshot. It is more apparent on ICG and nasoorbital ethmoidal fractures. Oh, this question you didn't get. Okay, then never mind. That was the question. Okay, and we'll go to the audience question. Ready? Arctic explorer developed bilateral disc edema. What is the most probable cause? Yes, Abhilash. Abhilash, Abhilash. Snow blindness. Ah, uh, no, not snow blindness. Arun? Altitude sickness. No, not altitude sickness. Yes, red. Ah, uh, no, I'm not giving you one more chocolate. One minute. Anybody else with an answer? Yes, brown shirt there. We'll give you a mic, please wait. Vitamin A toxicity. Sorry? Hypervitaminosis A. Excellent. Hypervitaminosis A. And why did he develop hypervitaminosis A? Fish they consume. No. Uh, fish doesn't have vitamin A. What? Liver of what? what liver, uh, liver oil. Polar bear. Polar, polar bear. bear. They eat polar bear liver, which has large. Remember, liver stores vitamin A. So, polar bear liver has a large quantity of vitamin A, and they develop idiopathic intracranial hypertension and bilateral papilledema. Excellent answer. What is your name? Jacob. Jacob. Jacob, what are you doing? Where do you work? Ahalya Trivandrum. Nice, yeah. nice. Congratulations. Get ready for the... I, I hope you have been participating in the quiz as well. In the, uh, did you scan the QR code? Yeah. Yes, excellent. Do we have the winners? So from set one, we have Dr. Geeta Kumari, four out of four, and fastest to submit, Dr. Shanta S. Menon, three out of four, and fastest after that. And from the second set, Dr. Sumita Mary Jacob and Dr. Vivek Umman Burgis. Okay. Uh, do you want to come and sit in, sit forward? Come. All the winners, please come forward. I will call you one by one upon the hot seat. Dr. Geeta Kumari, can we have you up first? Oh, I had to drag her in from there and look at her. She's won the first round itself. Come. Congratulations to all of you. Excellent work. Please come forward and sit here so I will call you up next. So that it will be easier for you to enjoy if you are sitting down than sitting up. Okay, now, hot seat. Yes, please come up. Everyone who's joined in late, please come forward. Unless you can scan the QR code, you won't be able to join. So, you need to come forward. There's plenty of seat. You can come to the sides as well. Please come forward. Yes, Geeta, please come. This is your hot seat. Which is your better screen? Or maybe here and watch the screen. Come. Can you tell us, uh, can I have a mic for her, please? Please have a seat.
So she's my first hot seat recipient. Does it feel hot? Are you worried? You're tense. No, don't be tense. She's the one smiling face you see in the hall all the time. Yes, tell us who you are. Tell them who you are. I'm working as assistant professor at Government Medical College, Trishur. Trishur Medical College, it's the host up on stage. Yes, so let me tell you the rules of the hot seat. I have only three questions for the hot seat. The first question will give you 1,000 rupees. Second question will give you 2,000 rupees. And the third question will give you another 2,000 rupees. So if you get all the three questions, you are taking back 5,000 rupees today. Okay? There is a catch. First question, if you don't answer, obviously, we'll have to pass the questions to the audience and you will go back. Second, quest, first, second question, you can decide whether you want to go back with that 1,000 rupees or you want to go ahead and try for 2,000. But if you get the 2,000 rupees wrong, you will forfeit the 1,000 rupees as well. Is that acceptable to you? Okay. And then you can decide if you want to go ahead to the third question. But third question, I will give you a little bit of leeway. One, I will give you a lifeline. So if you don't know the answer, you can choose one person in the audience whom you want to ask. They will help you out. Okay? And secondly, even if you don't get that question, you will still walk away with 3,000. Is that acceptable to everyone? So we'll go to Geeta Kumari ma'am's first question. Got hot seat. Shall we play? I can move it here, no? Red rock syndrome is seen as a complication of which of the following procedures? Intracameral vancomycin, subretinal PFCL, piggyback IOL, femto-assisted cataract surgery. No buzzing from the audience. You don't get any money. Just keep quiet. You have 30 seconds timer. Subretinal PFCL. Your timer is just starting. I'm going to give you... So, oh, she's just guessing. Do you want... I can... Let's give her a lifeline, shall we? Yes, yes, yes. From all questions, we will give lifeline. Okay. So, no, only once. Okay. You can't use it for all three questions. Anytime, once, you can use it. So, do you want to use a lifeline or do you want to go ahead with subretinal PFCL? Yes, I want lifeline. You want lifeline. So, choose somebody, your friend, who's, going to, who's not going to lead you down the garden path and make it wrong. Of course, you can go and give her one bang afterwards. Oh, Mahadev, sir. Mahadev, sir. Mahadevan, sir. So you want to go? Shh, quiet. No more lifelines. Thank you, sir. So you want? So you want to go ahead with Mahadevan, sir's choice or your own choice? No, 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 no. No more lifelines. She is not a cat. She has only one lifeline. I think, I think timer is up, you need to choose quickly. Madam, I can choose again or? No, you can choose between two these options. two. Uh, so my choice. you want to go my ahead choice. with your choice. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, it is wrong. Both the lifeline and her choice is wrong. Anyone knows the right answer? Yes, uh, second, second row there, yes. It's already displayed. Okay. Okay, then we won't give the audience questions. So the answer is, I, I've got two mics now. The answer is piggyback IOL. It is the opacification that is seen between the two IOLs when you place a piggyback IOL, red rock syndrome. Thank you, Dr. Geeta. I am going to give the rest of the two questions of this round as audience questions. Shall I? Can some. Next question was, which class of microorganisms has been associated with posner schlossmann syndrome? Yes? Viruses. This is the correct answer. And the next question was, eight-year-old child was referred from pediatric OPD with defective vision and this fundus finding was there. What is the syndrome? Stickler, Wagner, De Morsier, Goldman, Fabric. Yes, someone there, yes. Stickler. 
Why? Because radial lattice. Excellent. Radial lattices are seen. It is Tickler syndrome. We have an audience question now. Ah, okay. So next, let me have Dr. Shanta S. Menon on the stage, please. Wait, where is she? Shari ke ano yenda arpite or handwriting. Zara erdi yada. Is it Sharika? Sharika S. Menon. So I'm so sorry. It is Sharika S. Menon. Please come. Ah, she's our dancer star. Come, come, come. Sharika S. Menon on the hot seat. Come, sit down. Will you introduce yourself, please? Uh, yes, I'm Dr. Sharika. I am assistant professor at MES Medical College, Peridalmanna. And I'm so happy to see you here after your energetic performance yesterday. You, I didn't think any of the dancers were going to make it today, but I see a lot of them here in the audience. I'm so thankful to all of you for coming so early in and encouraging this program. Shall we play? So, one-year-old child was diagnosed to have the following on in examination. There is a corneal picture, there is another picture. What should be the next step in investigation? A Bera hearing test, a TPHA, a Mando or a Pathogy? What do you want to go with? Basically, it leads you to the diagnosis. Very simple uh, method. Do you want to go with a Bera hearing test, TPHA, Manto or Pathogy? Is the timer on? T TPHA. Why are you saying TPHA? Uh, the teeth. Are you sure? Shall I lock? Yes. Yes? Shall we lock? Yes. And what are we seeing on the screen? Uh, Interstitial uh, keratitis uh, and? Uh, the Hutchinson's tooth. teeth. Hutchinson's teeth. Excellent answer. Big hand to her. So, 1,000 rupees. You want to go with that? Yes. Yes? No, 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 no not next. You want to go ahead? ahead yeah. Yes. Good girl. So, she wants to go ahead and try for the 2,000 rupees. Let's go ahead. What is the best test for measuring the amount of strabismus in a patient who has amblyopia and eccentric fixation? Amblyopia of 20 by 400 and eccentric fixation. To measure the amount of strabismus, which of these tests will help you the best? Do I have a lifeline? Yes, you do have a lifeline, yes. If you can't decide, you can use a lifeline. I don't think I should allow strabismologists to answer. Uh, time up, time up, time up. You have to decide whether you okay. want a lifeline or not. Uh, I need lifeline. Okay, who will you choose? Okay. Uh, quickly, quickly, <laughs> don't waste time. Padmaja madam. Padmaja madam. Don't have a lifeline. Ah, yes, ma'am. She's here. Are you going to lead her down to doom? She will lose her thousand rupees. If you say wrong, she will lose her thousand rupees. Remember that. Never ever. I care too much for her. <laughs> Krimsky. She says Krimsky. You want to go ahead with that? Yes. 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 And she has won two thousand rupees. Krimsky is the right answer. You must share it with her. Okay, madam. Yes. Yeah. So. That is the right answer. Krimsky was the right answer. So th this person is now walking away with 3,000 rupees from KSOS. Note the point, please. And we are going to go to the next question. Or you want to go back with this? No, that doesn't make sense because you're going to go away with this anyway. Yeah. Next question. Which of the following structures is the neural integrator for vertical and torsional gaze? Is it nucleus prepositus hypoglossi, nucleus raphae interpositus, uh, interstitial nucleus of Kajal, 
rostral interstitial nucleus of the medial longitudinal fasciculus. And you have exhausted your lifeline, so you are left high and dry for this question. No, no, no audience help, please. Uh, timer is on? Yeah. Option D. Option D. D. She has chosen option D. Let's see if it's the right answer. I'm locking it. I'm afraid it is wrong. Anybody with the answer? Anybody knew the answer? Yes, I heard it from there. Yes. So it is the interstitial nucleus of Kajal. Thank you so much. 3,000 rupees. Please mark her name and don't write Shanta and Sarita and all. It is Sharika Menon. And she gets 3,000 rupees. Congrats. Next person on the hot seat, Sumita Mary Jacob. Come, come, come on. Big hand for Sumita Mary Jacob. Do we have a hot seat uh, audience question now? After the last. Introduce yourself, please. Uh, I'm Sumita, uh, Associate Professor at Adelaide Medical College, Thotubura. No, you have to keep this with you. That's yours. Yes. Shall we play? Ready? Yes. First question. Coming up. Which of the conditions does not have this fundus appearance? Lay syndrome, Gaucher's disease, sialidosis, or Batten Mayu disease? This fundus appearance, Lay syndrome, Gaucher's disease, sialidosis, or Batten Mayu. I need a lifeline for this. Lifeline, lifeline, yes, who are you going to choose? Uh, Dr. Thomas. Doc <laughs> Dr. Thomas, <laughs> like, please, no, 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 don't call me. Uh, the clinical appearance is very evident, isn't it? It is a cherry red spot. So which of these conditions does not have a cherry red spot is the question. Okay, shall we ask for a volunteer to help you? Anybody yes. in the audience who knows the answer, who can help her out? Thousand rupees. Mahadevan sir, one hour already kudi chaadi chhe. Ini aadta aala engoda kudi chaadi kya na ente. Anybody? Yes, I think she, she, I'll let her help you. Yes. Yes, tell me. Baton disease. Sorry? Baton disease. Can you give me the option, which D, option? D. D. She says option D. You want to go with her or you want to try on your own? Thank you. Uh. I'll go for uh, A, Lay's syndrome. Lay's syndrome, okay. So she's going for A, Lay's syndrome. Let's see if she's correct or the helper is correct. I... What is this? No, this is wrong. Batten Mayo is the answer. Option D is the answer. Batten Mayo produces? Bullseye maculopathy, not cherry red spot. Cherry, uh, all the others will produce cherry red spot. Arpit, you are messing up quite a bit. Okay. Anyway, so Lay syndrome will sometimes produce sialidosis is otherwise called what? Type 2 gangliosidosis, GM2 gangliosidosis, it produces cherry red spot. Gaucher's produces cherry red spot. Only Batten Mayu does not. I am sorry, but thank you so much. Thank you. Next person, Vivek Ummenbergi is on the hot seat. Oh, did we go to all the questions? No, we haven't gone, no? Let's go to all the questions. One minute, I'm, I'm a bit confused. Stop. Hmm? Oh, okay. So this is a new set. 
this is the same set. Ah, that's okay. So let's go to, you must tell me if I'm, when I'm going wrong, no? You know the questions. Okay, anyway, uh, let's go to the two questions that we have missed out. Which of the following is false regarding ligneous conjunctivitis? Yes. Aparna, give her a mic. False. Option D, associated with viral infections. Excellent answer, associated with viral infections. No, 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 that line is coming for every fourth option, don't worry. No, answer was different, I checked that before, I saw that earlier. No, the line is just coming randomly, it is not, it is not associated with the answer. <laughs> Uh, it's always coming with these, what I also found, yeah. <laughs> then second question was, uh, this was, uh, that is the right answer. Next is, <clears throat> it's always coming on D. Gerstmann syndrome, which is not associated with Gerstmann syndrome. Anybody? Yes, right answer, C. All the others are there. Agraphia, acalculia, right-left disorientation, contralateral hemineglect is not there. We go to the next set. I will have Dr. Vivek on. Set four. I am Vivek. I am working as assistant professor at Sri Google Medical College, Trivandrum. All assistant professors and professors on the stage. Nobody else. What is this? Ah, uh, Michael. Ready? Okay. First question coming up for you. Administration of which antibiotic can produce this fundus picture? Take a lifeline. You'll take a lifeline. Okay. This is the first question of the set, no? Okay. Lifeline, please. Somebody, you want to choose somebody? Mahadevan, sir. Ettara kodi chaadi chetu, meindu Mahadevan, sir. Ah, sorry. Anna paranyu odukku. Hi. Ola idea ondu. Tarn or lifeline meno. <laughs> I want a lifeline, vancomycin. Sir yes. says vancomycin. I go with sir, vancomycin. You're going with vancomycin. But uh, can I ask you why? Other than Mahadevan sir, any, any, do you know this picture? Uh, I'm not very sure madam, I think it's Redman syndrome. Uh, okay, now you're confusing me. That's not what I studied and kept. So, okay, let's go to the answer anyway. Yes, vancomycin is the right answer. Student in a kuri chaadi chilla. Gita padi pichi chilla, lla. Ado na na kuri chaadi chod. Okay. Anyway, what is that picture? Hemorrhagic occlusive retinal vasculitis (HORV) that has been reported after intravitreal vancomycin. Excellent. Thousand rupees. You want to go with that? Your lifeline is over. I'll, I'll go ahead. You'll go ahead. Excellent. Risk taking. So he's going ahead to the next question. Which of the following lid risk construction techniques increases the risk of amblyopia in a five-year-old child? The tension flap, the mustardis rotation flap, the cutler beard, or the glabellar flap? Any lifeline on Noilla? It's it's a if you know the procedures, it is a bit of common sense. Go for C. Why do you go for C? Ah, the audience knows the answer. <laughs> okay, I think you've chosen C. Let's see if C is correct. Yes. And why? 
because you need to cover the cornea for some time and therefore for few, I think few weeks and therefore you will get uh, risk of amblyopia. Excellent answer. We will go to your third question. 5,000 rupees hanging in the balance. Which of the following implants aims to shunt aqueous outflow into subconjunctival space? Now, if this quiz was tomorrow, my thought would have taught you that, but unfortunately, it is today. No, no, no answers from the audience, please. Eye stent implant. You're going with options D. D. Sorry, it is the Sen implant. Two of them are Schlem's canal shunting and one is to the ciliary space. Only this one goes to the subconjunctival space. Thank you so much. So he goes away with 3,000 rupees. Please write down his name. We are going to an audience question next. All those who have joined in late, you can still join in the quiz. So please come forward. Unless you scan the QR code, you will not get the questions, uh, the answers. So you need to come forward and scan the QR code. We are going into the next section of the quiz after this audience question. So please come forward. Anybody can participate. Lot of prizes for you. You have a lifeline, so even at least 1,000 rupees you will get for sure. Please come forward. Easy question, sir. Too tough, no? Ayyo. Okay. But if you don't have to go to the house, Okay, let's go. What is the meaning of the term uvia? Yes. Bunch grapes. Of grapes. Uh, can you explain your answer why it was called uvia? That's it. Endo grape, Anna Maria. Alle. Ah, apu amko ri pagdi chocolate orda lo. Uh, anybody can give a better answer? Yes. <laughs> I just know the meaning. That is grapes. Stock has been pulled off. Uh, I can't give you. No. Anybody wants the rest of the half of the chocolate? Why? It is grapes Ma'am. is correct. Grapes Allah, but grapes is nearly correct. Bunch of grapes. It looks like a black grape. Excellent answer from Sinumol. It is a grape with the stalk. So when they enucleated and took off the sclera, it looked like a grape with a stalk. So it's a single grape, not a bunch of grapes with a stalk. So that is uh, the right answer. Pagadi chocolate you can collect from her. <laughs> okay, okay. We can afford to give you both. So it's okay. All right. So that was the answer. It means grape. Resemblance of the choroid and iris to a grape with the oh, stalk torn out. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay. One chocolate to her also. So it does resemble the torn out. She said without the stock, so we need to give her as well. Okay, fine. Shall we go on to next is QR code, isn't it? Sorry? No, we did four hot seats. Three hot seats. Yeah. So we have finished all the four hot seats. This is round three QR. Everyone lift up your mobile phones and scan this QR code. All those who came in late, you can also still join in. Lift up your mobile phones and scan this QR code. I'll explain the rules once more. Five questions are there in this set. You will answer them in your Google form. A, B, C, D, choices are there, five questions. Person, after you read the fifth question, you click submit. If the person who reaches, uh, whose name reaches here first is chosen for the hot seat. First and second are chosen. Yeah. So you can submit as soon as you know the answer of the last question. Everyone at the back, are you clear? Anybody who is not getting the QR code? Papa, Naina, you don't want to try. I'm going to put you on the hot seat directly. Anyone at the back who wants help, please ask our volunteers. They'll help you scan the QR code. And my early bird team, are you ready? Ready for the hot seat? 
Five questions are there. Each question has four options. You have to enter your name. Without entering your name, the QR code will not get submitted and you will waste time at the end. So enter your name in the beginning itself. Shall we do this? Yes? Anybody with trouble? There's somebody with trouble there. Can you please help? Sayali, once you finish that, please can you help here? Yes, can you lift up your hand? Who wants help in the side? There, there at the back. Are you able to scan from the back? If not, please come forward. Yeah, we've got time. 20 seconds, yeah. And after the set, we will run the next QR code also. Last one we'll do only if we have time. Fifth one. Ready? You can change the QR code and put the screen. Logmar equivalent of 20 by 40 Snell and Acuity is 0.4, 0.3, 0.2, 0.1, 0.5, 0.5, 0.6, 0.7, 0.8, 0.9, 0.10, 0.11, 0.12, 0.13, 0.14, 0.15, 0.16, 0.17, 0.18, 0.19
Everyone ready? Anybody with trouble? Please lift up your hands if you need help for scanning. I think everyone's become experts now. At least, Atre Engelim Equus program in the Kondo Edo. So, for all those who came in late, I am currently doing the role of a superwoman, trying to select from all of you without a keypad, note the point, and without the help of um, uh, what's it called, uh, Wi Fi, and no internet as well. Yeah, note the point. Ready? Okay, we'll go on to the next set of questions. Coming up is your first question, what is the ratio of the magnification from a direct ophthalmoscope and the indirect ophthalmoscope with a 20 diopter lens? Ratio of magnification. Distance is 25 centimeter, both patient and observer are immetropic. 15 is to 2, 10 is to 3, 5 is to 1, 4 is to 1. And you have two seconds left. <coughs> Done. Next question. Occlusion of which of the following arteries results in Wallenberg syndrome? Posterior inferior cerebellar, median perforators of basilar, posterior cerebral, anterior inferior cerebellar. Everyone is shaking. I am so happy. Okay, next question coming up. <coughs> Appropriate management of recurrent calasia in the same site is needle biopsy, true cut biopsy, local injection with triamcinolone, full thickness biopsy. Recurrent calasia in the same site. Few seconds left for the fourth question. <coughs> fourth question coming up. What predisposing factor contributes to accelerated development of HCQ maculopathy? Adolescence, pre existing macular disease, lean body weight, renal, or hepatic disease? Accelerated development of HCQ toxicity. Which of this is a risk factor? And the last question is next. So remember, submission as soon as you see the question. <coughs> yes. Which of the following medications is contraindicated in the treatment of glaucoma in a toddler? Is it dozolamide? Is it brimonidine? Is it latinoprost? Is it timolol? And submit. As soon as you know the answer, submit. Can I have capitals in the names, please, this time? Thank you. Do I have? I think I can do that. Mahadevan sir, are you ready for it? Everyone, we'll have Mahadevan sir on the throne without... Yes. Complimentary. But not now, at the end. Sorry? Answers please, yes. Answers while he is computing. Ratio is 5 is to 1. Occlusion is posterior inferior cerebellar artery. Appropriate management because you are suspecting a sebaceous gland carcinoma. So you should do a full thickness biopsy. Predisposing factor is not pre-existing macular disease. I am sure many of you have. The only problem with pre-existing macular disease is that you cannot follow it up. You cannot tell accurately whether HCQ is affecting or not. But it does not predispose. Predisposition is renal disease. 
Which of the medications is contraindicated? It is brimonidine. And first set and answers. I think we have an audience question here. Audience question ready? Michelangelo's David, the sculpture, has an ophthalmic abnormality. What is the ophthalmic abnormality? Uh, only one eye is shown here, but... Addy's pupil. No, not Addy's pupil. There is a... Ah, Ramya Edicheri. Defective color vision. Sorry? Color vision defect. I didn't get... Who's speaking? Color vision defect. Is it ptosis? What did sir say, Narayan Guti sir? Defective color vision. Defective color vision, it's a sculpture sir, sculpture. Exotropia? Yes, Remya gets Sorry. the answer, the exotropia. And exotropia is not exactly exotropia, that is because you are seeing only one eye here. It is a squint. Do you know why he was given a squint? So that from either, it's a sculpture, no? So from either side, he should look like he's looking at you or looking straight ahead. That's why he was given a squint, apparently, I don't know. Apparently, Michelangelo did like that. But uh, so the abnormality that he has is a squint. So Remya gets the chocolate. Eh? Screen boyo. Uh, we need set one's answers. I'm loving this audience, all the audience questions you've got. Big hand to yourselves. First round answers, Logmar equivalent is 0.3. Transient visual blurring, I'm sure all of you got it, demyelinating optic neuritis. Dermoid, epidermoid, because it is at the line of sutures. Biopsy is fresh. And which of the following is fentolamine? Fentolamine. That's it. You hot seat. Okay, audience question. Patient needs a bigger hat. And he needs, he keeps saying, my hat size keeps increasing. And when you examine, he has an RAPD. Yes, the UK man has got it. Thomas Arun? Paget's disease. Paget's disease is the right answer. Hyperosseous uh, head, scalp hyperosseous uh, hyper change makes the patient need a bigger hat and the optic canal narrowing produces the RAPD. So, Paget's disease is the right answer. And we have our hot seat winners, set three, Dr. Mini Joseph. Please come forward, Mini Joseph. And Dr. Nikhila K. Dr. Mini Joseph and Nikhila K. Ille Nikhila. Varu, come, come, come forward. Vishnu Priya Soman and Shweta K. Uh, Mini Joseph, you can come directly on the hot seat. Nikhila, Vishnu Priya, and Shweta, please take a seat on the sofa. Dr. Mini Joseph, I think she came in late. Uh, here, here, this is your hot seat. Doesn't look like one, but it is. Yeah. Can you introduce yourself? I'm Dr. Mini Joseph, uh, junior resident, second year, Government TD Medical College, Alapura. Junior resident, second year, TD Medical College, Alapura. This is a quiz for qualified ophthalmologists. What do you say? Will you let her go ahead with it? Everybody with me? No one will cut my head off? Anybody who has a dissent, seniors? Mahadevan, sir. Samadhi kate. Samadhi kate. PG ke onla quiz sa alla. GT sir, Korpela. Sahasraman sir. Namal uh, Trishur te Charles sir. The last name in Trishur. Yes sir. Done. Okay. Since I've got most of you with me, I think I will go ahead with giving you your questions. Okay. You are perhaps the first PG in the history of KSOS to be on the hot seat. And allowed to go ahead with it. Excellent. Let's play. Which randomized clinical trial evaluated the long-term effect of... This is the first question of that set, right? 
Yes, okay. Open angle glaucoma with trabeculectomy versus medical therapy. Is it the early manifest glaucoma trial or the collaborative initial glaucoma treatment study or European glaucoma prevention study or the ocular hypertension treatment study? For those who came in late, let me also give you that you have a lifeline. You have a lifeline that you can use at any time. You can call anybody from the audience and ask them the answer, but you cannot use it later. This question contains 1,000 rupees. You will walk away with 1,000 if you <coughs> proceed for, do not proceed further. If you proceed further to the second question, you will get 3,000 rupees. But if you get the second question wrong, you will forfeit this 1,000 rupees also. And the final question has 2,000 rupees. And she will get 5,000 if she answers all the three questions correctly. You want to take a guess for this or you want to use your lifeline or you know the answer? Lifeline. Lifeline. Appa, you can't teach me. Are you a friend? Are you a friend? Are you a friend? Everyone is a Mahadevan, but they don't know what they are doing. They don't know what they are doing. Yes, they don't know. Teacher. 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 What's your name? Dahlia. Dr. Dahlia, yes. Dr. Dahlia. Yes, Dahlia, you are on the hot seat now. Tell me. Which choice should she take? She should take B, she says. You want to go with her? Yes. Yes. She's blindly trusting her teacher, going ahead with B, and we will look at whether you have led her wrong. Right answer. Thousand rupees. Yes. That is the correct answer. All the others are other trials. Shall we go ahead to the next question? Yes. yes. Excellent. What is shown in that black arrow? That ring that is shown in the black arrow, is it glaucom flecken? Is it a hoarfrost ring? Is it a quartz ring or is it a Zentmeyer ring? Glaucom flecken. Glaucom flecken. Audience, do you agree? It is not a glaucom flecken. Yes, what do you want to say? What is your choice, brown next to Aparna? Huh? Option B. Option B, ma'am. B for Bombay? Yes. Okay, she says option B, but you don't have a lifeline, so you are going without any money. But we will go ahead with the answer. Anybody else? Zen Mayor's ring. Eh? Zen Mayor's ring. We put that to confuse you, because uh, nobody knows what Zen Mayor is anyway. Exactly. It is a hoar frost ring. It is seen in which condition? Which is this condition? Pseudo-exfoliation Pseudo glaucoma, pseudo-exfoliation glaucoma, hoar frost ring. Thank you so much. Give her a big hand. It needs a lot of, lot of uh, courage to be here as a PG student. Thank you. Next person on the hot seat, please come. Oh, Nikhila and Shweta. Uh, I'm afraid Nikhila and Shweta are also PG. No, Shweta is not a PG. No, no. Nikhila is a PG? Yes. Eh? PG Vanda, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I... Uh, Vishnu Priya is here? Yes, Vishnu Priya on the hot seat, please. Uh, Shweta is not a PG, so we need only one person. Nikhila, can I please excuse you? Yeah. Thank you. Um, Hope to see you on the PG um, quiz stage. You're from... Ah, that's fine. She can come. So we have Vishnu Priya on the hot seat now. While we choose a second winner from set 3. We will choose instead of Nikila, we will choose a second winner. I will go ahead, yeah. While she comes up on the stage, let's go to the next question in this group. FDA approved medical therapy for Graves' orbitopathy is... 
Yes, Aparna. Excellent. Teprotumumab is the right answer. It is an FDA approved drug recently for Graves orbitopathy. That is the right answer. Any more questions here in this? Audience question? No, I don't think so. Come. You can just say you completed your deal. I'll take you. Good morning. Introduce yourself. I'm Dr. Vishnu Priya, uh, done MBBS and DO from Kottai Medical College. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, no, no, you keep this, you keep this. Okay. Shall we play? I have to hurry it up and give sir a chance on the stage. Your first question coming up. What is measured with this instrument? Is it refractive index? Is it back vertex distance? Is it prism power or is it interpupillary distance? You, you have a lifeline which you can use at any of the three rounds. Mm -hmm. This is your first question. So if you want to go ahead with a guess, that's also fine. What do you think is the answer? Interpupillary distance. Interpupillary distance. Shall I lock that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what is that instrument called? A distometer. Why is back vertex distance impo important, anybody? When will you measure back vertex distance? One single answer. When will you measure back vertex distance? In which? Natasha, can I try? Yes, ma'am. When the refractive power of the lens is very high. Uh, more than? Uh, OK, more than ten, five? Yes, right answer. When the refractive power is more than five diopters, you have to mandatorily measure back vertex distance and give it to the optician because the effective power of the lens will change depending on the position you have put that lens in. If it is going forward, it will change. If it is for and the uh, place where the spectacles are going to come. Understood? So that is very important. Anyway, so I'm afraid you have not got the answers. Yeah, thank you. I think uh, all the money that is left needs to go to the quiz master, no? Than the audience. So we've got like, I think we've got a lot of money left. I'm not giving it back to Srini or Biju. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> eh? Yes. <laughs> yes, okay. We'll go to the next question. Uh, this is for the audience now because uh, she's gone off in the first round. It's not moving. During decompression of the orbital floor, diplopia and dystopia can be minimized by preserving palatine bone, zygomatic bone, ethmoid bone, orbital strut between the medial wall and the orbital floor. Anybody with the answer? It's audience, open to audience. Yes, Marin, you're right, B. If you preserve that, then you will have less of diplopia and dystopia. Because that gives an important structural support. Next question, last question coming up of this group. Recently approved gene therapy Luxterna targets which gene? Luxterna has been approved for treatment of retinitis pigmentosa. She has the answer. RP65. Excellent. RP65 is the right answer. RP65, though many genes are involved, it is RP65 that is targeted by Luxterna. Do we have an audience question here? Bilateral visual loss in young adults, often sequential, was described by this man. What's his name? Leber, Leber. Okay, Theodore Leber, I heard the answer from here first, yes. Give her a chocolate, please. Theodore Leber, Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy. What else did he describe? Leber's congenital amaurosis. It's all the same Leber. Okay. Uh, Share again. 
Uh, can I have Shweta on the hot seat? Next hot seat uh, set, please. Go and introduce yourself. Ready, Give, introduce yourself. Uh, I'm Dr. Shweta. I'm from, uh, I'm consultant at Jyoti Sai Care Kannur. Ready. What is shown in this picture? It's a retro illumination picture. Is it pigmentary glaucoma? Is it aniridia? Is it albinism? Is it eye syndrome? Pigmentary glaucoma. Can I lock it? Shall I lock it? They don't agree with you. Do you want to change your answer? They don't agree it is pigmentary glaucoma. Your choices are aniridia, albinism, eye syndrome. Do you want to change your decision? Okay, uh, albinism. Why do you think it is not pigmentary glaucoma and it is albinism? Pigmentary, more of it will be in the um, mid periphery of the iris. She is given the explanation also. Can I give her the answer? Lock to yes. It is albinism. The entire iris is illuminated, isn't it? In pigmentary glaucoma, you get only mid-peripheral transillumination defect because of the reverse bowing of the iris. So she gets thousand rupees, and we will go ahead. Shall I go ahead? Yes. Ma yes. Next question. Identify the condition that produces this macular appearance. Look carefully at the macula. Everybody look carefully at the macula. Is it cystoid macular edema? Is it HCQ toxicity? Is it X-linked retinoschisis? Or is it Stargardt's disease? You want to use a lifeline? We have a lot of retina people sitting there. They will tell you. I'll go with the C, X-linked retinoschisis. She's going with C, X-linked retinoschisis. What is that appearance called? Come on. Cart wheel, wheel or appearance. bicycle wheel or bicycle wheel appearance. So, cart wheel or bicycle wheel appearance in X-linked retinoschisis. Right answer. And she's going ahead for the 5,000. Yay! Big hand to her. 5,000 rupees coming up. Ready? Ready. And she has a lifeline left. Which of the following drugs have been up FDA approved for the management of geographical atrophy? I'm not even going to attempt reading it. I'll use a lifeline. She will use a lifeline. Are you helping? Yes. Nobody knows anything. Any retina person wants to help her out? 5,000 rupees hanging in the balance. Liz Mary. Where is Liz Mary? Uh, Liz Mary wants to help you. Shall we take her help? Sure. Yes. Okay. I think it's option D. D Set for Delhi. Uh, D for Delhi. D for Delhi, she wants to say. I'll go with that, ma'am. She'll go with no that. Idea. Yes, and it's the right answer. So she gets Thank you. 5,000 rupees. Thanks to Liz Mary and thanks to you keeping the lifeline till the last question. Congratulations. At least some money reduced <laughs> from the amount that I have with me. So Shweta, 5,000 rupees. Yeah, so far I think yes. First winner to take 5,000, so a full applause for her, please. And the next person whom we have chosen instead of uh, Nikhila, because Nikhila was a postgraduate, the next accurate and fastest answer came from Dr. Brinda K. Remnan. Can I have Dr. Brinda on the stage, please? Only one more set and then we are going with the QR code again. We have one QR code left, no? Should we do that or should we take, uh, we can go. Mm. So now eight God sets are over. We have two God sets left. 
Welcome. Please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Dr. Vrinda Keramanan from ESA Hospital, Kollam. Yay! One person who is not an assistant professor or professor. Yes, ready to play? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Four-year-old boy, bilateral iris atrophy, core ectopia, elevated IOP. His father has a similar condition. Which of the following is the likely diagnosis? Ice, Lowy, Axenfeld Rieger, Hallerman Strafe. No answers from the audience, please. Her first question, let her think and answer. Axenfeld Rieger syndrome. She goes with Axenfeld Rieger. What do you say? Why did you choose Axenfeld Rieger? That condition with iris okay. atrophy and corectopia. Okay, okay. I think I will give it to her. Accent field Raiga. Why is it not ice syndrome? Hereditary. Ah. And not it's hereditary also. Excellent. So let's go with that. And it is accent field Raiga. Ready for the next question or you want to just take 1000 rupees and go? Next question. Yeah. Ketia Luti. All of the following are thought to increase risk of corneal allograft rejection. Except, sorry, take off that his father has a similar condition, copy-paste problems. Yeah, no father had no similar condition. Just accept presence of central corneal vascularization, fast ligand on corneal endothelium, contamination of graft with donor-derived antigen-presenting cell, induction of MHC antigen by corneal stroma. Any corneal experts? Lifeline? Lifeline. <laughs> Lifeline. Prashob, are you here? No. Vinay? Anil? Aruvilla. Sujit? Yes. You want to choose Sujit as your lifeline or you want to go with someone else? Sujit, sir. Sujit, sir. Can you help her out? <laughs> I'll go with C. Uh, he's going with C. You want to go with C or you want to go try out on your own? Increase the risk of corneal rejection except on a question. Okay? Leave out the rest of it. Except. Oh, sorry. Uh, except. Uh, yes, sorry. Sujit, you want to revise your answer? Central corneal vascularization. Okay. I think, Vrinda, you can take a call. Which one? Since he's changed it from C to A. Time is over? Time is over. You need to choose. A. Okay, she's going with presence of central corneal vascularization, but the answer is fast ligand on corneal endothelium. Fast ligand actually increases the chances of graft accept, uh, acceptance. Okay, so co central corneal was a light, little bit of a dicey thing because central is not a big risk factor, but still when you have corneal vascularization, yes. So you go away with, with nothing. Oh, I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you, thank you Vrinda. We have half an hour left. Are any of the authorities here? Can we go ahead with one more QR code? Let's go fast. Okay, this time no wasting time. Last QR code. Eh? Audience question on door. One question left. Uh, sorry, sorry. Let's go back to the uh, God set. Next, one question was left for her. So let's go to that question. Which drug causes this? Fundus picture, bilateral papal edema, topiramate, crusamide, minocycline, sildenafil. Minocycline is the right answer to ma'am there, chocolate. Q R. No, audience question. Arpit keeps lifting up his hand and giving me a heart attack. Audience question, identify him and what ophthalmic condition did he have? No, Aparna, no more chances to you. Anybody else? You got a lot of chocolates, no? Two, I get your law. 
Anybody else? Come on, you can't not know him. There, at the back. Braille, Braille with sympathetic ophthalmia. Your Braille answer, with sympathetic Braille. ophthalmia. Sorry? Louis Braille. Louis Braille and? Sympathetic ophthalmia. Sympathetic ophthalmia. How did he get sympathetic ophthalmia? After trauma. One yeah. penetrating injury in the other eye and the other eye. Yeah, becomes... but why did he get it? Why, what trauma did he get? Uh, his father was uh, a mechanic. Uh, injury from his that mechanic. Okay, you've got the general theme correct. Father was a carpenter apparently and it was a chisel that flew into his eye. Okay, so that is Louis Braille. And we are at the end of the questions. QR code, please. Quickly, okay, this time no delay. Quickly scan the QR code. Mahadevan, sir, where are you? Sir, where are you? 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 Okay, everybody ready? No, no, I don't think they're ready. Anybody who's not ready? Scan the QR code. This time, postgraduates, please do not attempt the Google form. Postgraduates, do not attempt the Google form, please. Just look at the answers and remain silent. You can answer the audience questions, but do not attempt the Google form. Everyone ready? A patient who is pseudophagic in one eye and phagic in the other eye will have how much amount of anaceconia or image difference, okay. image size difference? Is it 1%, is it 2.5%, is it 5% or 7%? Pseudophagic in one eye and phagic in the other eye. Ready? <coughs> Next question. 18 year old girl has seesaw nystagmus. Where would you expect the lesion in neuroimaging? Paracellar region, CP angle right, CP angle left, posterior fossa tumor. Next question. Ready? Lacrimal sac is located between anterior and posterior crura of medial canthal tendon in the lacrimal gland fossa under the inferior turbinate anterior to the orbicularis muscle. Arpit from this set, we need only one winner. Next question. What is the most common infectious condition or agent associated with neuroretinitis? Which is TB, syphilis, Bartonella or Toxoplasma? TB, syphilis, Bartonella or Toxoplasma? And your last question comes up next. Get ready to submit. As soon as you see the question, submit. Which is the correct order of normal angle structures viewed anteroposteriorly in gonioscopy? Whoever reads the fastest is going to get this. It's very simple, but it's going to take you time to read. I am a bit twisted, aren't I? And submit as soon as you know the right answer, submit. And I need one winner from this. <coughs> Time up. Do we have an audience question? Ah, we go to the answers. First answer is 2.5%, but why don't we get diplopia? Why don't you get diplopia if you are fake kick in one eye? You can fuse, you can fuse. That's why we don't get diplopia. 
Seesaw nystagmus is always cellar, paracellar, supracellar. Lacrimal sac is between anterior and posterior crura. Bartonella causes? Very good. Bartonella hensile with cat scratch disease. And correct order was option D. Okay? Audience question, ready? What caused this famous singer's blindness? Singer na kaan na in munne answer yaan batta thillai. Ito anta tippu vittiyo. As ROP, Stevie Wonder. Excellent. Stevie Wonder, retinopathy of prematurity at a time when screening and treatment was not known. And our last person to come on the hot stage, just one name is there, Remya. Is it Adacheri or anybody else? Any other Remya in the audience? Did you just write Remya? Uh, yeah. <laughs> At least put an initial woman. Come, come up. Yes, Remy has been sitting there and answering quite a few questions, so she's going to walk away with 5,000 this time. Come. Come soon. I've got a full uh, bench of lifelines are sitting there, including Mahadevan, sir. Come. Yeah, yeah, you're Mike. Ready for your first question? Yes, Introduce sir. yourself, please. I am Remya, pediatric ophthalmologist at the Cooperative Hospital, Payanur. Since we are at Drishti, let me add that she was one of our first leadership development program uh, participants, and then she was facilitator for the second. She's an upcoming KSOS uh, president. <laughs> Ready? First question. In these four pictures, which of these names is common? Is it uh, four illa, three pictures? Get off. The other one is just background. Three pictures. Alt, Vot, Fuke, or Lattice. Which word is common for all three pictures? Vot. She goes with Vot. Shall we give her? Kodkale. Why do you think it is what? Walk stray. What stray you got? What are the rest? She is right. Otherwise it is what? What are those white lines inside a lattice are called? Wards lines. They are called wards lines. And the last one is wards crocodile chagrin. Yeah, walks crocodile. So it's all what? Okay. Right. Next question. So thousand rupees already. What is the principal mechanism of phacolytic glaucoma? Is it granulomatous inflammation around cortical lens fragments? Is it lens protein laden macrophages? Is it an anaphylactic response to sequestered lens proteins? Or is it a monocyte cytokine release leading to ciliary body edema forward rotation? Lens protein laden macrophages uh, populating. Very confident changes. answer from her lens protein laden macrophages. And she gets 3000 rupees. And we are going on to the 5,000 mark question. What is not a cause for this abnormality? You can see the abnormality marked in the black arrow. Which of this cannot cause it? CRBO, chronic papilledema, meningioma or AION? CRBO, chronic papilledema, lifeline? Anybody? You want a lifeline? Or you're going to do it on your own? I think... Uh, ah, you go ahead on your own. She doesn't a, even a, want a lifeline. A I O N. Excellent answer. A I O N without a lifeline. Five thousand rupees. Doctor Remya Edacheri, give it to her. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Fabulous. Fabulous. I know all the rest of the money also. One audience question. Only after the next set. Okay. And it is my great pleasure as the quiz master today morning to invite Mahadevan sir on the hot seat. Please. I'm going to get burned down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Come, sir. We have all lifelines here. Everyone, big hand for Mahadevan sir. Every question he wants to choose a lifeline. 
കൊടുക്കാമല്ലേ ശരി റെഡി ഗോഡ് ബ്ലസ് മീ കീപ് യുവർ സ്പിരിറ്റ്സ് അപ്പ് പൈസ കൊടുക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ നമ്മൾ ആ വി ഗിവിങ് എ മണി I think we can. We've got a lot of money left. Yeah, Let's everybody see. be ready with the answers. Yes. <laughs> Ten-year-old child presents with this appearance with no history of trauma. What will you suspect? AML, retinoblastoma, juvenile xanthogranuloma, lymphoma. C. Yay! Big hand to Madhavan sir. Thousand, thousand rupees thousand in his rupees. pocket. Thousand rupees. Thousand yeah. rupees. Done. Juvenile Santo Granuloma is the right answer. Spontaneous hyphema in a young child suspect Juvenile Santo Granuloma. Next question. Mutations in the TIGR myosilin gene associated with which of the following disorders? Pigment dispersion, exfoliation syndrome, juvenile open angle glaucoma, nanophthalmos. TIGR myosilin gene. B. लॉक किया जाए लॉक लॉक रेडी राइट राइट जुवेनाइल ओपन एंगल डॉकोमा इज द राइट आंसर थ्री थाउजेंड रुपीज अर्पित इट इज जुवेनाइल ओपन एंगल डॉकोमा मार्क रॉन्ग वॉट इज नॉट अ कॉज फॉर दिस नो सॉरी sorry that is not the question look at the picture sir the question is not that what investigation will you order in a patient with this fundus picture what investigation will you order in a patient with this fundus picture do you want to order a ct chest do you want to order a pet scan carotid doppler or ultrasound abdomen can okay, no, uh, usg abdomen why would you order a usg abdomen what uh, is the renal uh, renal uh, yeah, Renal cell, cell carcinoma. carcinoma. One more thing you can pick up on an USG abdomen. <coughs> He is absolutely right. Born Hippel Lindo. Ultrasound abdomen is the first thing that you have to do. Pancreatic cysts and renal cell carcinoma. Pheochromocytoma. All of this you can pick up in the USG. Yeah, If an MRI brain three, was there in that order, three then abnormalities are there, sometimes yeah. you may need an MRI brain also. But I didn't put that because that would confound the answer. Excellent! 5,000 rupees to Mahadevan, sir. I go with 5,000? Yes. Done. And that is donated to... Uh, the, what is his name? Simi. Or the one who came here. Remya. Hey, I'm going to go. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. not a bad performance not at all perfect do we have any got any more god sets last set okay so now we will go to uh, one last audience question this is the ancient form of one ophthalmic instrument yes man merin shiot stonometer lensometer anybody else it's a donder stonometer yeah perhaps i think we can give it to merin because it is an ancient form of a tonometer it was a donder stonometer all done any questions left nothing at all okay so we have finished perfectly on time 9:45 is uh, our scientific committee chairman here no he has ditched me look at that he knew the audience is going to beat me up and he has ditched me he is not even here so aha uh -huh. <laughs> yes let you keep it we'll take it so can i have all the let's have all the winners here come come give me the name arpit Let me call upon stage all the winners who went away with some amount of money. Sharika S. Menon, Vivek, Shweta, Brinda and Ramya. And Mahadevan sir, yes.
Please come. And before I finish, I must say, like I said before, I was told to do superwoman things here. No net, no internet connection, no Wi-Fi, no keypad. You select from the audience and then you choose. What would I do? Ina, Mina, Mina, Mo? And I was so worried, I spent two or three weeks sleepless trying to figure out how this was. All the big quiz masters told me, you do Kahoot, you do this, you do that. But all of that, Kahoot requires that everybody downloads Kahoot, everybody's mobile network should be like fast all the time. And once we start, we can't stop. All that was there, and I was not confident with Kahoot either. Then came, uh, they said WhatsApp, but WhatsApp was a big mess last year, so I didn't want to do WhatsApp. And I spent so many, so many sleepless hours, and I was on the phone all the time trying to convince uh, Sai and Srini to give me keypads. And they said, no, we don't have the budget for that. And then my son said, what is this, mommy? Why are you always talking about quiz on the phone? What is the problem? So I told him this, that this is my idea, but I don't know how to do it. And he told me, Google form. So it pays to send your sons for engineering. Apparently, they figure it out. They said, you use Google form. Just put the options there, and they'll do it. But still, I was worried, because they will say like that, no, Anyway, I'm so, so happy that this has gone off well. And all thanks, I need to thank a couple of people here. First person is my PG, Arpit, though he did mess up a few questions. He spent sleepless nights making, putting it all into this format for me. And give him a big hand, please. <laughs> Dr. Arpit. And Anand Peter there. He is the man behind the audio video. Actually, till I came here yesterday, I was worried. But when I spoke to him, he said, ma'am, we will do this for you. So big hand to Anand Peter. Yes, on the stage, please. Come. Come, Arpit, please come. And uh, I must thank my volunteers, my postgraduates, Alfia, Saeli, Afrin, and Shweta, who were helping you with the QR code and the chocolates. Thank you very much. And I thank, finally, the Scientific Committee Chairman and KSOS for giving me this opportunity and putting me in the hot seat since the last three weeks. Come. Yes, please, come. No, I think we'll take the winners first. Sir, we'll take a picture of the winners first, and then we'll do the... No, no, that is okay. <laughs> please come, please come forward. Yes, session ends in five minutes. Big hand to me. Saru, I do, sir. Your, uh, your money will be given to you, apparently, hopefully. It will reach you. Saru, I don't sir. Onnu, I do, sir. Please. <laughs> Big hand to them. Come on. You can give them an applause. No, afterwards we'll have our fit and procedures. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have Arpit and my PGs here on the stage? Quickly, quickly. We have only two, three minutes left. Merin, you want to say something? All TOT participants and audience, please be here at 7.45 tomorrow. 7.45. TOT starts at 7.45. Big hand to my volunteer team. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Arpit. Thank you so much. <coughs> thank you, everyone. Signing.